let's take a look at how to divide unit fractions. They asked us to divide, simplify your answer, and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, well, we have one third divided by seven. Okay, and when you're working with fractions, it's nice to make both numbers a fraction. Remember, any whole number, you can make it a fraction by putting it over one. So I'm gonna think of seven as seven over one. The rule when you're dividing with fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal, or another way to say that is to multiply by the inverse. Okay, so you can multiply by the reciprocal, or, or another way to say that is the multiplicative inverse. So when you set this up to multiply by the reciprocal, the first number stays the same. I'm still gonna say one third. I'm gonna change my division sign to a multiplication sign, and then because I changed that, I have to do the inverse or the reciprocal of seven over one, which is when you flip the fraction. So the inverse or reciprocal of seven over one is one over seven. And now when I multiply with fractions, you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So in the top or the numerator, one times one is one. And in the bottom or denominator, three times seven is 21. So I get one out of 21. And I can't simplify that. It's already a proper fraction, right? Meaning the top number is smaller than the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it like that. One out of 21. Okay, this time I have one half divided by two. Okay, well let's think of two as a fraction. Remember any whole number, you can put it over one. So let's think of that as two over one. And then we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal or the inverse. So I'm gonna say one half times, right, since I'm changing my division to multiplication, I have to flip this fraction. That's the, the inverse or the reciprocal. So instead of two over one, when I flip it, it's gonna become one over two. And then the rule when you're multiplying your fractions is to multiply straight across the numerator or top and multiply straight across the denominator or bottom. So on the top, one times one gives me one, and on the bottom, two times two gives me four. So my answer is one fourth. One fourth divided by six. Okay, well, I'm thinking of this as six over one, and then I'm using my rule to multiply by the inverse or the reciprocal. So I'm gonna say one fourth, instead of divided by, we're gonna change that to times, and the inverse or reciprocal of six over one is one over six, right? The top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top for that second fraction or you flip it. And then we multiply straight across. So in the top or the numerator, one times one is one. And in the bottom or denominator, two times, I'm sorry, four times six is 24. So we wind up with one over 24. One half divided by two. Let's think of this two as a two over one, and then we're gonna set it up to multiply by the reciprocal. So one half times, flipping our second fraction, one half. And then when we multiply straight across, one times one is one, and two times two is four. So we get one fourth. one-third divided by seven. Well, let's think of seven as seven over one and then set it up to multiply by the reciprocal. So one-third times the reciprocal or inverse of seven over one is one over seven, right? We're just flipping that fraction. And then when we multiply straight across, one times one is one, three times seven is 21. So we wind up with one out of 21.